Curious. Welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your mid-month February reading. This is going to be a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with every single person that watches it. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So I'm going to start off your reading with the Shaman Healing Oracle deck. I'm going to get an important uh, universal message for you. A very important message moving into uh, the end of February into March. a message for you okay so you have the card of struggle okay and the struggle card here we see a fish going upstream okay and we see a star there which represents your energy Aquarius energy so I feel like there's a situation right now Aquarius in your life where you may feel like you're struggling a little bit here with the um, struggle card you have number 32 I recommend looking up number 32 on uh, online so you could see what the spiritual meaning is of the number 32 we're gonna see more about what this message is and what it means for you in your reading okay so let's get into it and let's see energy current energy near future what you don't well not what you don't see coming but your overall energy here okay your challenge is a three of cups what you don't see coming is the three of pentacles here in reverse so this is your challenge already mercury retrograde is messing around with me in your reading <laughs> focus all right so okay so your challenge this week is a three of cups moving into the mid-month february okay into march so for many of you there's um uh, there's something here about coming together with someone reuniting with somebody seeing someone for many of you this is a reunion that's happening between you and someone that you really love okay this is what i'm seeing here what you don't see coming is the three of pentacles here in reverse. There's something here that's not working, okay? This is this is about the struggle. Some sort of situation that you're dealing with, possibly with someone, um, could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, where there's a bit of a struggle. We're going to see um, when I clarify, okay? So in the recent past, you have the tower in reverse. You have the empress in reverse and the ten of pentacles. Something here happened in the past, Okay, is what I'm getting here with the tower in reverse. It caused a lot of pain, possibly to um, a person that you were dealing with here. Someone here who really, um, you know, you are very much connected to here with the Empress here in reverse. Okay, Ten of Pentacles in the past is telling me that for many of you, this is a long-term commitment, a potential long-term commitment here. But something happened to kind of create some sort of issues in the past. We'll clarify and we'll get more information. In the present moment, you have the Five of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Strength card. So the Five of Swords here is telling me that for many of you, um, this is about you, this is the struggle, okay? Five of Swords, this is the struggle. Uh, for many of you, you're going through some sort of struggle situation with the Five of Swords. Could involve someone else here. I see you trying to stand up for yourself or um, fight for what you want here. And it's creating a little bit of a burden for you in the present moment. But I see you getting over this situation because you do have the strength. Okay, so we're going to clarify and get more information. In the near future, you have the Two of Wands in reverse, the Ace of Cups in reverse, and you have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. There's someone here that you really love in the near future, and I see you reuniting with them, and it may be challenging for you to reunite with this person, Aquarius, because you probably thought it would never happen. I see you coming out of separation, okay? So for, for many of you in the near future, you are coming out of separation with someone, and instead of moving towards new love like you thought, maybe in the past, oh, I'll just find somebody 
else a move, you know, move uh, towards someone else. Nope, there's someone here from the past that could be an earth sign. Okay, I'm getting Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus here. Virgo is very strong. Capricorn is very strong here. Leo is very strong. Scorpio is very strong. Taurus and Libra is very strong. Okay, so for many of you, there's a reunion on the horizon for you. Mercury retrograde. This is what happens during Mercury retrograde, okay? Lots of... Uh, coming back together with people from the past. So let's do some clarification and let's get some information on this for you. First card I'm gonna clarify for you, Aquarius, is the Three of Cups. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Okay, so the Three of Cups is clarified by the Fool, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. Yes, this is about you having a new beginning, possibly with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This is someone who wants to reconcile with you. This is someone who wants to work out things with you, work things out with you. Um, this person's ready to have a new beginning. There's a brand new beginning I see coming in for you with you and this person. It may be a little challenging for you because you thought you may have thought at one point, oh, this is never going to happen, but it looks like this is something that's potentially going to happen for you with this person. Okay. So let's clarify the recent past. In the recent past, you had some sort of unfortunate event that happened out of nowhere. It happened out of the blue. For many of you, this happened back in November. I'm also getting back in the month of May, okay, May or December could have been two, um, three very significant months for you in the past, which really affected your connection. So the tower is clarified by the strength, the hermit and the ace of swords. A lot of you want clarity on a past situation that really affected your self esteem, your confidence here in the past had a lot to do with someone that you very much loved, but things stopped growing between you and this person. You had some sort of issues here, okay? And clarify the Empress in reverse. The Empress is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The moon and the five of pentacles mm -hmm. yeah for many of you this person um i feel like you could have left this person or abandoned them in the past because of some sort of secret okay so there was this sense or feeling that this person was keeping something from you in the past which really affected the connection and the ability to have this long-term connection in the past in the present moment, Aquarius, I see you fighting for something. There's something here that you want that you're fighting for. Let's clarify the five of swords. Five of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Cups, the Devil, and the Ten of Pentacles. For many of you, you're trying to have a new beginning with a Capricorn, okay? This is what you're fighting for. This is what you want. Now, if this isn't you fighting for this, it could be your person fighting for this and wanting this. And this is what is creating the burden in the present moment. It's creating a lot of um, need to persevere or overcome some sort of situation. And this is why you have the struggle card here because you are struggling to possibly, um, reconnect with this person and have a new beginning with them. Okay. Is what it's telling me. Let's see why there's so much of a struggle and a burden here in the present moment for you, Aquarius. Why is this happening for you? Why is this happening for you? You have the Ten of Wands, which is clarified by the Temperance, the High Priestess, and the Empress. For many of you, you need to tap into your intuition, okay? Empress um, is here. There's a lot of growth potential, but you're not tapping into your intuition, your most deeper inner knowing, okay? You know, you a lot of you right now, you're looking at the surface. You're like, okay, let's see what's on the surface. You got to go within. The High Priestess is someone who, you know, when she's in reverse, she's talking too much. She's saying too much. She's 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 too much in the physical realm. You need to really tap into your intuition. OK, divine timing is very important, too. It's in reverse. The timing isn't right for you in the in the present moment. This is why things are not going the way you want. And there's a struggle. Mercury retrograde. When Mercury is retrograding in your sign, this is what happens. I'm going to link below. Um. A little podcast that I did on the um, 
Mercury retrograde happening in your sign. Some of you can get some information from that podcast. So I'll have that link down um, below for you, okay, if you're interested. All right, um, so near future, I see you coming at a separation with someone, possibly an earth sign, Capricorn, uh, Virgo, Taurus. I'm getting Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm also getting a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So let's do some clarification and let's see what this two of wands in reverse is about. Two of Wands is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Two of Swords. It's interesting because even though this person is interested in possibly reuniting with you, a lot of you are closed off to this person because of some sort of betrayal. Ten of, ten of Swords here, okay? So the opportunity presents itself, but a lot of you are either not having it or you're not interested in it, possibly. Okay? So let's get some advice for you and let's see what the advice is. Okay, the advice here is the Five of Cups in reverse, the Seven of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. For many of you, you're pushing away someone who really loves you, okay? This is what you're doing. Seven of Wands. Some of you have like fire in your chart. Maybe you have Sagittarius strongly in your chart. I'm just really getting that you're pushing this person away. Um, but the advice here is, even though you are doing this and pushing this person away, what you should be doing is you should be identifying how to forgive okay there's something about forgiveness here with the five of cups in reverse and remember with the five of cups in reverse we often see the two of cups in the back and this is what you're not looking at you're not seeing the potential here in this connection the potential for forgiveness the per the potential for love the per potential for um recognizing okay yeah maybe this person did betray me even if you don't want to be with them make sure that you're releasing them you know in a positive kind of way so that if you do want new love whether you want new love or you want to reconcile with this person that you're not holding on to any um regret any pain any sadness okay because this is really what is going to energetically affect you okay this is why you're struggling right now because the struggle has a lot to do aquarius with you forgiving someone okay whether you want to be with them or not that's not the point the point is is that in order for you to realize this happiness and love that you very much want to receive there's a need for you to clear your heart and clear the um, past experience that you had okay so the five of cups is often someone who focuses on all the bad things that happened rather than the potential good things that are there to take advantage of, okay? So Aquarius, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you on the next one. Bye.